Well, hello, everybody. I'm back. Gloria, this is Gloria Harlow Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. I'm pretty calm now. That was something else. Now, since I'm calm, really calm now, um, I'm going to title this, I think, um, Straight Talk. Um, I'm not sure what else yet, but um, her video today was about uh, um, in encouraging and um, <clears throat> coming to repentance, I think, about repentance. And um, I've been talking about that, too. My tablet's been going crazy over there. <laughs> I've got it on charge, but it's been going crazy. But anyway, um, I'm going to read. She wanted everybody to read um, Isaiah chapter 40. To read it, she had the verses marked to read uh, chapter 40, verses 1 and 2. I think I'm going to read the whole chapter of Isaiah, of, of uh, 40. Chapter 40 of Isaiah, I think. Okay, I should have. I should have found it first, but I think I know pretty much where it is. Let's see. Let's see, Isaiah. Okay. 621. 621. That was something earlier, though. It, it, was, it was something. 621. I mean 640. No, 621. 621. Yeah, it makes it hard. That was chapter 40. Okay, Isaiah. Chapter 40 of Isaiah. This is going to be good. This is going to be a good one. And I give him all the honor and the glory in his precious holy name. I thank you, Sister Nikki, and I love you very much for what you're doing, too, what you're doing on your videos. So I'm going to read chapter 40. So I'm going to hold this up, get comfortable, like I always try to do. Okay, chapter 40. Comfort through, through the trust in the Lord. This will be good. This will be good. Good one. Okay, are we ready? Chapter 40 of Isaiah. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double of all her sins. Okay, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord make straight in the desert a highway for our God every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all the flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it the voice said cry and he said what shall I cry all flesh is grass and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field the grass the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the mount, high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the, the Lord God will come with strong hand. And his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him in, in, in strength. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with, with young. The majesty of the Lord. The majesty of the Lord. I love you all. I love you, Jesus. Who hath, who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? and meted out heaven with a span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed him to him the way of understanding? 
Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the, of the bounce. Behold, he taketh up the, the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. I hate to have to put my head down. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God, or like, what like, likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melted a graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over with gold, and cast it silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeth, seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a, a graven image that shall not be moved. Okay. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow them up upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal? Saith the Holy One, Lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You know, like I'm all saying, if, you faint, if we faint not, if we faint not. Okay. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, be increased strength. He, he incre will increase our strength to go through whatever we have to go through, people. Even the youth, the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall bound up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I could read, could read on and on and on and on. My, my, my. Just, oh, my, my. You know, we find so much wisdom. I'm going to say this again. We find so much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in this book right here, in this holy book, the Bible. And people that don't understand things, he will give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And sometimes if you don't understand what you read, if you keep reading it, read it, read it over and over and over. And pray for, for wisdom and understanding and knowledge. And love the Lord with all your hearts, minds, and souls. He is, and I've said this before, but he is doing such a great work in me. He's doing such a mighty, mighty work in me, and I give him all the honor and the glory in his precious, precious holy name. And it's just, it's just amazing, people. It really is amazing. Our God is such a loving God. And like I said on my other videos, what's to come? What's to come? It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. And we don't know how much of the tribulation we're going to have to go through. We don't know. We don't know for sure if the rapture is after the tribulation. That's what a lot of people believe. There are a lot of people that believe in the, tri the pre-trib. And my dad always believed we would have to go through the tribulation, at least, at least part of it, at least part of it, before the Lord takes us out. Uh, but we, one thing we do know, we have to be ready. We have to be ready to go. Some of, some of us may not even take taste of death. Some of us, you know, will just, our bodies will be changed instantly. You know, I mean... I know it says in the Bible that it's appointed to man to die. It's appointed unto man to die, and then, then the judgment. 
Now, I don't know where it's at in the Bible. I know it's in there because I read it. I read it one time. It's appointed unto man to die the earthly death, and then after that, the judgment. So, there's still some things I don't understand either. And, but I'm learning. I'm learning when those itches. <laughs> but I am learning. And again, I give I give my Lord all. I give him all the praise and honor in his precious, precious holy name. Even people around me have seen a change in me. And they said, Gloria, there's something different about you. I said, well, I have the love of Jesus. I'm in love with Jesus. He's number one. He's number one. All else, everything else is, is second. He's number one. Yes, he is. It's, it still reminds me of what Vesta Goodman told Dottie. Rambo one time she said Jesus is my husband and Howard is my second husband and oh uh, Dottie says well if if you go first can can I have can I have how can I have him and then they, you know he she was teasing her you know and everything but reminded me of that but yes Jesus is the bridegroom he is the bridegroom we are the bride we are the bride the body of Christ is the bride uh, the bride of the church we are the church so anyway um, I've been at this I've been studying you know and uh, getting what I wanted to read and everything and like I said I'm not copying Nikki's videos I'm taking some things from her videos which is okay but that got me earlier though when she was talking about uh, he's our living water talking about the rendment uh, making our cro crooked, pa crooked path straight and I've talked about all of that. I've talked about all of that. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gives wit witness. There's another word I want to use. I can't think of it. But it's probably because I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been all day long. I've been with Jesus. It's been a wonderful day. And I can't think of the rest of that. I just know that's how it goes. I'll find it. So anyway, people, it's about t 10 after 9 now. This is September the 3rd of 19, uh, 2015. So I love you all. Got, you're welcome Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And leave, feel free to leave me comments. Like, like I always say, it, I welcome your comments. I welcome your comments. And I love you all, one and all, one and all all my subscribers my current subscribers as well as my new subscribers I did lose one I had 35 so I've lost one I've got 44 I have 44 30 34 now but that's okay you know what I've said before usually when I lose one or two I use a gain gain some too so all for the glory of God like I said I'm not on here to glorify myself I'm on here to glorify and edify my Lord Jesus Christ that's why I'm on here so on that note, I'm going to say good night. I love you all. Eyes to the sky, thumbs up. Because we know not the day or the hour that he will return. So on that note, people, I love you. I love you all. So good night. Good night.